And I figured that I would start off by describing our vision for the future and where we see things going. I've been doing this, uh, these kinds of presentations for a while. I think um, when I started talking about the 2020s, it was five years back, and now we're about a year and a half away. But the future for media, whether it's in mixed reality or whether it's traditional linear content you see on TV, is evolving rapidly. And so I think as we get into the next decade, you're going to see these kinds of trends emerge where photorealism, photo um, in other words, making CG content look perfectly real, is going to become not only cheap and fast, but built in, a commodity, something that every single game, if it needs to, will look as real as the best Hollywood visual effects that you can put into a film. Furthermore, even linear content like films are going to be built in game engines. They'll be in real time. You're seeing those trends emerge where we have uh, big filmmakers uh, like Neil Blomkamp that are doing entire shorts all in the Unity engine. And furthermore, the tools that we use to experience, create, and work with uh, content and media are going to be intuitive. We don't really imagine that there's going to be a system with siloed apps or even the web as we know it. We think there's going to be a lot of spatial, interchangeable content and, uh, and services that will link together. And that truly is how we see the metaverse emerging. The tools that are used to create that content will be things like Tilt Brush or Oculus Medium, the things that are actually inside of VR and XR that allow you to spatially experience the content that you want others to share. And as we get towards 10 years out, uh, that's really where the work that we're doing now is, um, is, is focused on as far as building these you know, foundational pieces. Because in about 10 years, I think that holographic displays, in other words, uh, displays that are so dense, they have trillions of uh, megapixels, that can actually beam out images and visuals that are equivalent to what you have in the Star Trek holodeck. Uh, they'll include things like touch through ultra hap haptics. They'll also be everywhere. They'll be cheap. Uh, the one thing that we've seen is that televisions, display screens all become much more inexpensive over time. And the more of them that there are, the cheaper they become. So holographic services that can capture and display uh, holographic content can be on clothing, they can be on walls, windows. And that's a game changer. But the road there is actually very uh, very precarious. There's a lot of uh, compute power needed to power these devices. And you know we're trying really hard uh, at Otoy to come up with ways where we can come up with network effects, uh, codec streaming tools, all these things that enable this future to happen.